Hey everybody, Steven here playing Subnautica Below Zero and very interesting video today because we are going to spawn in the Warpers. For those that remember the Warpers from the first game, they are really, really scary. They are essentially made by the Precursors and um, I'm horrible at remembering things, but if I remember correctly, they were kind of... Um, protectors, guardians, and they were looking for specific things. So the guardians of the precursors but are also looking for certain things like trying to track down stuff that they needed to create a cure. If I'm wrong on that, by the way, correct me in the comment section because, like I said, I'm horrible remembering all the small details with everything. But I was watching a video on uh, Anthomnia's, hopefully pronouncing that right, but his channel, and he found one. So I can't find any. And he found his over in the Glacial Connection, but the cool thing is we can actually spawn them in. So I'm going to do that here in a second. For those that remember the... And actually, tell you what, let's spawn one in. And I'll start talking. Let's go here, and we can look at these guys, because I know that's what you guys really want to see. All right. There it is. Looking better than ever, by the way, because this is an updated model, as far as I can tell. But for those that remember, when the game came out in Early Access last January, it's essentially it was the same game engine as the first game, right? But with that, because they built it with that, they literally ported over all the code. It was just made exactly in the same build. And with that came all of the creatures and everything. So you could still spawn in the Sea Dragon, you could still spawn in the Reaper Leviathan, the Ghost Leviathan, any of the creatures, any of the things from the first game, right? You could you could actually still spawn in the Cyclops, the Sea Moth, all of that. Slowly they've been taking all of those things out, so this Warper hasn't been in game for a good while. So now we have the updated game engine, so it looks better. It looks like they've redone the model just to update it and everything. It looks still creepy as ever, but it looks really good, especially those sounds. Um, but uh, you can actually spawn them in again, so I know it's going to end up in game. They wouldn't just put this back in here like this. And what I'm curious about is if that is in regards to the rewrites from Jill Murray. I don't know for sure. But my assumption is yes. Let's see what it does. There it goes. Ooh. Ooh. So, Warpers are back in game. That is awesome. I like to think of the tentacles in the back that are the solid color as like a cape, and then the clear portion as its main body. So, those are its legs. <laughs> it makes it less scary. But really, those noise always get me. So, let's see if that does that. Uh, we're going to have to go speed one on this one. So they always just hop right out. So they don't stay very long before they just warp out. I don't know where they go. But, uh, yeah, they eventually just disappear. There it is. Now, of course, we can test this out, right? Oh. Ooh. Warp me. No? Aw. I mean, that effect looks updated also, just the where it warps, but also where it will warp you out. Try this again. Nothing? Come on, guys. There it is. Boom. Super cool. Alright, so, Warpers are back in game. The other thing, right here, Quantum Locker. So, spawn code is literally spawn Quantum Locker. It's already in there. So, once we have this, this is a prototype. This said it's a prototype on the Subnautica Changes Twitter account here. The cool thing with this is that it will share 
whatever's inside of it with however many of these you have. I thought this is very similar to, and I'm sure they've done it in a ton of different games, but uh, the safe in Terraria, same thing. You could have 50 safes, they all have the same contents. So it takes up four spaces and it has 16 spaces inside of it, so you gain 12. My assumption is this is going to play an important role with certain, perhaps things like ion cubes or certain very rare minerals. So that is in game. I'm assuming the look of this is going to change, by the way. So remember, this is just a prototype. So that is in, well actually, can't even say it's in game. It's in the code, it's not in game right now. You have to spawn it, so. Spawn quantum locker. So there it is right there. Oh, and other thing, by the way, I didn't do this, even though you can You can scan the warper. That's the other thing that leads me to believe that, yeah, this 100% for sure is going to be in there. They wouldn't add this back in here if it wasn't. So warper, and then it tells you everything. So further research required. Very, very cool. Hopefully we get more details from Alan on these guys. And it hasn't been implemented in-game yet. Like I said, Anthomnia found it. I haven't, so I don't want 100% say that. But uh, I have not been able to find them. But if you guys have, definitely let me know in the comment section. This is the experimental build. I'm 24, 450. But uh, that is it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to see some more updates, obviously, this week and next. But really, the story changes. It looks like they're right on the cusp of implementing these just based on what I've seen on the uh, Subnautica um, changes Twitter account there. And another thing that I've noticed, I haven't been able to find certain things that's, that they've added. The purple bulbs, they just added a precursor shuttle. Um, a lot of things like that. And I think it's because it's like what they did with the fabricator base in that it's in game, it's just hidden. So my assumption is this is all connected to the new story. Once they implement that in the experimental build, it's probably going to unlock a lot of that stuff. So fingers crossed we get to see that pretty soon. But uh, that is it, everybody. If you like the video, hit the, uh, oh, there we go, like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.